The cyber attacker is always looking for ways to attack the smart grid. The low voltage smart grid is a soft target that is critically important in the supply of sustainable energy and a DSO's billing and operations. All parties involved in the supply, deployment and operation of smart devices in the low voltage grid need to be part of a more active approach to cyber security by following six key steps. Step one, regulatory compliance and protection should be considered the minimum, not the desired approach. That way, you will start to think like the cyber criminal and anticipate how they might attack you. Step two, don't trust optionality in security. The cyber criminals will look for optionality. They will find gaps to take advantage of, and worse, they will find ways to disable the security. Step three, don't assume your security is unique and that this protects you. No matter how unique you think your security is, the cyber criminals will have commoditized tools to attack you. DSO should run penetration tests regularly with pen testers experienced in low voltage grid security. Step four, invest in threat detection and response. This will allow your security teams to focus on the organized attacks that can lead to ransom attacks or service disruption attacks. Step five, provide an effective deterrent. Think more about how you can use threat detection and response tooling to identify who is attacking you and build a body of evidence against them. Step six, integrate your low voltage smart grid and corporate security. This will allow you to identify multi-point sophisticated attacks against your organization. When all is said and done, the cyber criminal will target the smart grid, especially the softer low voltage grid. Applying these six steps will help, but we are all still potential victims. The key point is to have people, organizations and technology in your ecosystem that can think like the criminal and provide information to help protect you. Here is where we fit in.